Hey guys, it's Rafika. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a review on the brand new Anastasia Beverly Hills Summer Collection. So if you want to see that, keep watching. Okay guys, so most of my face right now is Anastasia Beverly Hills. I'm going to have a little Instagram tutorial coming out for it. Like my first ever full face one. So I'm like excited. Or whatever. But um, yes, it actually looks very cute. It was my first time using the soft glam palette. It was my first time using the blushes. It was my first time using the contour stick. Well, it's really a foundation stick, but whatever. It was first time using dip brow, but in ebony. Um, yes, I'm feeling cute. But I did a little eyeshadow so we can, you know, I can really show you the three products. So the three products that we're going to be talking about, well, it's not three products, but it's like three different types of products. So the first one is the pigments. Let me get this focus. Also, this is my first time filming with my new lights and my microphone. So tell me how you guys feel about it. Like, do, like does the lighting look good? And does the sound sound better? Like, tell me the tea or whatever. But anyways, this is the pigment, and it comes with five pigments, which we are going to swatch. I was going to say lighting. Um, five pigments, which we are going to swatch each one of them. Um, Nervina says they're really good for bridal things, like bridal parties, weddings, like brides. And, um... You can use them on your eyes, your face, your lips, your body, like wherever you want to use them, you can use them. Then the next thing is the four matte lipstick set. It's four lipsticks and it's a four matte lipsticks set. Yeah? Okay. And there's four colors, coconut, orange blossom, lychee, and guava, which we will also be swatching. And then we have the beautiful... The amazing, the baddie herself, the shimmer body oil. So let me give you guys like a little close up of her. She's, she's cute. Like ooh, which we will also be swatching. I sound like a crazy person right now. Um, <laughs> so let's get into these pigments first. I'm gonna swatch the pigments on my hand. This is the first pigment. This is in the color Icy. Okay, these swatches are not going to be good. Just throwing that out there. Um, this is Icy. I feel like the camera's not picking up how reflective it is either. And this was like a really light swatch. Like, I'll get some more on my finger. And like, when you put a little bit. Because I literally got like the tiniest bit. When you put more, it's like... Focus. Don't focus on me. Look some more. It's like, wow, okay. I really like this one because it's really like white. So I feel like inner corner. We're putting that in our inner corner today, period. I'm going to try to use as many of these as I can on my face also. And then the next one we have is Crystal. Oh, Chris. This is how it looks in the bottle. Okay, so the second one is Crystal. Next, we have Daiquiri. This is like a pink, multi-colored kind of pigment. I really like the color of this. Let me see if I can make sure you guys can see it in camera. Bye, guys. Can you guys see that? It looks a little bit more pink in camera because here it kind of looks more kind of gold tone, like champagne toned. Let me swatch it and see how it looks. Oh, it comes out very gold. And then when you move your hand, you can see the pink reflex. Ooh. Okay. Next one is Daiquiri. I feel like these swatches are not showing you how these actually look. Should I keep going? I will just keep going so you guys can see it. Maybe it does look good. But for my viewfinder, it is not showing the full potential that these have. The next loose pigment we have is sand. These are actually Anastasia Beverly Hills' first pigments, too. Sand is like a champagne gold. It's kind of similar to the last one, but it's different. Because it's more like, oh, no, this is a rose gold. I'm bugging. This is a rose gold. 
sand. This is sand at the bottom, like, okay. Looks, mmm, it's like a gold. It's definitely, literally, this is rose gold. This is like rose gold. And last but not least is desert. Oh, it's a very, it's like a copper. It's very pretty. This is the one I really want to use on my lids, but I'm not sure because now that I'm swatching the other ones. And also, you only need a little bit of this to make it, like, boom. Like, it's there. Like, you don't have to, like, keep going in and, like, using a lot to get a little shine. Like, she's there. Do you see that? Wow. So, these are all of the colors. So, now what we have to do is decide what's going on the lid i think this one will be really pretty on the lid like a little copper moment you know um so i'm just gonna apply these i'm gonna apply them on camera like don't worry i'm just trying to tell you guys what's happening next and then i'm going to do the lip swatches and do all of that i'm trying to use like all these so you guys can see each one of them so i'm gonna cut my do i want to cut my crease or just apply it i think i'm gonna cut my crease yeah i'll cut my crease i'm gonna cut my crease off camera and i'll be right back Okay, so now I'm going to apply um, desert on my lid lids. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to put like the liquid base down first, but I'm going to try to just apply it on my lid dry. I don't have that much experience with pigments, just so you guys know, but we'll see. <laughs> and I'm just picking that up on my Makeup Shack T66 brush, just like a little small brush. Oh! Wait, let me zoom you guys in. Zoom. Oh, do you see this? Well, this is, this is beautiful. I'm also trying to even out where I applied it just because on this side I kind of sneezed while I was cutting my crease so it's a little bigger. This is so pretty. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, I'm too high right now. Um, oh, I got to use the other shades. Okay, so is unzoom that a little bit and i think i'm still gonna do ice because i really want to try it out in the inner corner i'm not sure if it'll match like this look because it's more gold but this time we're gonna spray the brush with dewy set beforehand and then we're gonna pick it up and apply it in the inner corners oh Oh, I just dropped some pigment on my face. Okay, I don't know how to fix that. Okay, whatever. Um, my camera's dying, so I'm gonna plug it up real quick, and I'll be right back to finish this face. Okay, I'm back. Um, I fixed my eyebrow because I was taking selfies just like to see how like my makeup looked in camera, and uh, this brow was a literal squiggle line, not cute. Period. So, as you can see, she's fixed. Okay. I used ABH dip bar for this, by the way, and ebony. <laughs> okay, so I was sitting here trying to think, like, what do I want to use as highlight, you know? And I've decided, like, I have to use, sorry, I don't know all the names. I have to use crystal, like, I have to use crystal. Um, crystal, just to remind you guys, is the one that looks like this. She's pretty, she's cute, she's a little darker than ice. I think, it'll, I don't think it'll be too light on my skin tone. Well, I hope not, because I'm about to use it. Yeah, I like to use my Morphe brush. I'm gonna use my Morphe M501, this brush. Oh, okay. Let me do this side. Mmm, let's make it brighter. Let's go, let's go ham. Oh. 
Okay, so now we're glowing. Sometimes I just take a brush after I put on my highlight because I notice sometimes the way I put it on leaves like lines. So I just try to like blend it out a little bit. It's still bright, it's still cute. Ooh, okay, crystal. So I think sand I'll use for my brow highlight. I don't think I'm gonna use daiquiri today because I feel like there's nowhere to put it where it really like makes sense. So sorry about that. I will be, I'll definitely use it in like one of my next videos though, so don't worry. Okay, so I grabbed this Morphe. M124. Yep. Let me zoom you guys in a little bit so you can see the... Oh, that does not look good. I don't like that brush. Okay, there you go. I haven't applied brow highlight in so long, so it's not crazy. Okay, I just applied like way too much. By accident. Let me just take this brush. Okay, now I remember I don't apply brow highlight. I really don't. Like, I always apply it wrong, or I apply too much. Okay, so, eek. So that is how sand looks. Way too much. We're just gonna keep moving, though. Oh, I forgot to put some on my nose. I'm gonna be using crystal on my nose. Ugh. Okay, so that was me using all of the pigments from Assess Beverly Hills. Obviously, you guys can tell I love them. They look beautiful. I have to get a little bit more practice with using like a full loose pigment for highlighter and stuff because I feel like I apply too much on some points. But it looks really good and I'm really into it. So now we're going to get into the matte lipstick set. And I'm going to do what I usually do if you guys have watched my other lip swatch videos just like make it silent put a little music so you guys can just see the shades on my lips and how they look and then we shall go into the body oil I'm trying to make sure this video isn't too long but I already feel like it's gonna be really long so I'm really sorry I gotta wipe this off I put on a lip mask just so you know my lips didn't look crusty now we're gonna get into the actual spot swatching process and so I am going to Put on some music for you guys i'm gonna put on some music for myself but i can't put it in the video because obviously i'll get copyrighted so yes i'm going to do the swatches in the same order i just swatched them so coconut first and what was the last one and guava last so keep watching Okay guys, so that was all the lip swatches. Right now I put on coconut. Actually looks really pretty. Um, so the last two shades, which are guava and lychee, they are glitter matte lips. Well, they're not matte. Well, they're, these are all named matte lipsticks, but those are glitter lipsticks. 
and they're less creamy than the other two because obviously they have glitter inside of them but i expect them to be a little bit more um grittier but they're not like it's like not as easy obviously to like swipe it on but it goes on very easy and it's really cute because it's actually really sparkly like sparkles like a gloss which i really like um i would have to say coconut is the one i think i'm most likely to wear just because it just like looks cute I might put on a different lipstick for pictures though for the gram because I want like a brown lipstick to match this <laughs> makeup. <laughs> but um, I'm gonna put on lashes and I'll be right back to review the shimmer body oil. Okay, hey guys, so I changed the lip. I put on the Anastasia Beverly Hills lip glosses in rum and I topped it off with this little sparkly one in maple so this is the look I really love this and I really wanted to put on a lip that kind of like matched the eyes because I thought it was like really cute and I put on my lily lashes in Miami and then it is time for us to look at the Anastasia Beverly Hills Shimmer Body Oil. First of all, the container came in, beautiful. I actually like a little photo shoot of these products on the beach. It's actually on my Instagram. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, it is rxfika. The R is right here, and all my social media is down below. So follow me on there to stay updated. And like, I posted my story and asked you guys what I should post and do polls and all that type of thing. So if you want to connect with me more, definitely follow me on there. But I did a little photo shoot with this body oil, and this is beautiful. Like, let me show you guys the back. Like, do you guys see that sparkle? The glow? The beauty? Ah! I'm just going to show you guys by spraying it on my hand. I'm just gonna rub that in and this is how it looks like wow oh wait, I didn't spray any on my arm obviously because I'm hijabi I can't spray like all over my body and show you guys but um, if you guys do want to see it all over someone's body I'll leave some videos below of a couple friends that did a review on it so you can see how it looks like you know, on the chest and arms and everywhere. So I'll leave that for you guys to see. But um, I'll just, I'm just showing you guys on my arms. So you guys can at least get an idea of how it looks on the skin. I think this is beautiful. I feel like I'll still wear it even though. I'll still wear it even though, you know, obviously I can't put it everywhere. And I'll definitely use this on like prom clients because I've been doing a lot of prom makeup recently. Oh, you can't really see it on this arm. I think it's because of the light. But you guys saw it on this arm. So, yeah, this is actually beautiful. This is a beautiful product. It smells amazing. Um, this is how much I have left. I've only gone down to here. And I have sprayed it a billion times because I was doing multiple videos. I'm trying to swatch it. I sprayed it when I first used it. I sprayed it to show my mom. I accidentally sprayed it a couple times by accident. So, yeah. But this product is amazing. I would definitely recommend using this if you know you're planning on doing like, you know, a little the little beach bob this summer, you know, or like the little the pool vibe, you know, you look cute. You're like, look at me, I glow. And then you know, for pictures and everything, because it looks beautiful in pictures. And it works on like any skin tone too. If you're very fair, you're very deep, like it'll work on any skin tone for you. Like I think it'll work beautifully on anyone, so I definitely would recommend buying it. Um, all these products will be released on the 28th of May. So actually, let me just double check. Okay, so it actually launched today, the 21st of May, on their US and UK website. And then it launches... Hold on, let me... I'm on their Instagram right now, so... And then it launches in the real realtor is like oh my gosh i can't talk guys i'm sorry it launches at the real retailers on the 28th but that's only online and where is it in store 
It doesn't say when it goes into stores, but... Oh, in stores June 6th. So, if you guys want to get this, I will definitely leave the link down below to their website. And it's not on the other sites yet, so I won't put it there. But when it is, I will update the description box so you guys can see it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave your thoughts down below. Tell me which products you're thinking of buying, how you think this came out, this look. So, if you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to, to subscribe and hit the bell button so you can join the Feek Squad. And when you hit the bell, make sure you put it on all notifications because now with YouTube, they don't really notify people when YouTubers post. And it's kind of annoying because people aren't even aware that you're posting sometimes. So, yeah. So, make sure when you click the bell, you click the other button that says all notifications. And thank you guys so much. Peace out, Girl Scouts.